In this video we're going to take a look at the upper and the lower functions within SQL. And to use this I'm going to go ahead and focus on the title column that I've got to work with and the titles of the books that we have from my database, from the books database or table that I have. And so what I'll do now is instead of saying select all, I'm just going to say select title from books and then I'm going to go ahead and hit run. So now we're just working with the title column of my books table. And so now what I want to do is I'm going to use the upper function and the lower function to see, show you how they work. I'm going to actually do the upper function on title. And what it's going to do is it's going to go ahead and display all the results of the title column in uppercase, which is pretty you know, obvious based on the fact that we're using the upper one here. If you don't like the function being listed there, you could always just say as title. So let's go ahead and type that in so you can see how that works. There we go. So now it just says title there, and it's going to give me the results of everything in uppercase. I can also do the same thing in lowercase, and so I'll use the lower function instead of the upper function, and you're going to notice that all of my results are now in lowercase. And now I want to remove the function because I want to show you that even though we did the upper and the lower functions here, the information that's in my table has not been changed at all. So if I just ran a simple select title from books, you're going to see that the results are still exactly the same as what they were in the table. This doesn't modify anything in the table. What it does is it just changes the results that are displayed here in my query. So I've got select title from books. Now you're going to ask, well, that's nice that I can uppercase it and make it all lowercase, but what would that be useful for? Well, one of the most useful things is whenever we're pulling criteria out of a book or pulling criteria out of a column, and if we don't know the casing or the case sensitivity of the letters, we may end up having a problem because if we type in the wrong, like if it's a capital A and we typed in a lowercase a, we may have a problem. It's not going to show us those results. And so I want to show you an example of this one here. So I'm going to go ahead and say where, and we'll just say title equals, and let's just go ahead and do a Game of Thrones. So I'll do a Game of Thrones. Now I've been very careful here to make sure that this a Game of Thrones matches exactly the um, case sensitivity of this a Game of Thrones here in my title. So if I run this, you're going to see that one result was there. Now what would have happened if I would have typed in a capital O for the of? And I hit run, you're going to see nothing shows up. And that's because capital letters and lowercase letters are completely different letters uh, within my searching. So what I need to do is I can basically say, you know what? Rather than being specific and having to type in a capital or lowercase letter, let's just go ahead and do the whole thing uh, in caps or all in lowercase, and we'll run the function under my criteria here. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the upper function. So we'll say upper title, which means the uppercase version of the title column is going to be equal to, and since we're going to use uppercase, we have to have everything in there as uppercase. So a game of thrones. There we go, Thrones. All right, and now if I hit Run, you're going to see that one more result was there. And you can see that the casing of my result is the same as what's in my table. But what I've done here is I've gone ahead and say, you know what, that could be anything. It could be all lowercase here in my table. It could be all uppercase in my table. It could be a mixed case, which it is at this moment. But what I've decided to do is I said, take the uppercase version of what's ever in there and match it to an uppercase version of what I'm looking for. And since I've done that, the, I've basically eliminated eliminated uh, having to try to find the exact case casing of my letters or the data that's in my table by using this upper function. And of course, you could definitely do the same thing with the lower function. You could have done lower and had everything in lowercase as well, whatever um, you feel is the best option for you. I just like to do it all in uppercase. And so this is what ends up being one of the best things that I've been able to find for using this upper or the lower function within the database. And that concludes the video on the upper and the lower functions here within SQL.